Hello, I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney, and today we're answering publicly posted questions on abo.com, getting people the answers they need from an employment attorney. Here's the question. Do I have a case? Last year, during the Christmas party, my boss, who is also the owner of the company, made a sexual comment to me. I discussed this via text with another coworker, asking him to address the issue with my boss, and he did. My boss then started being disgruntled with me and moved me to another position in the company. He moved me twice, then decided to terminate me with no reason given. A couple of employees that were male had confrontations with the owner of the company, and they threatened physical violence, and they are still employed with the company with no disciplinary action. I feel like this... I feel like I was singled out for being a woman. I work 14 hours a day as a COO, operations manager. I was never late or absent from work without a very good reason and not very often. Okay, so this is textbook retaliation and gender discrimination in my, in my opinion. Um, you have a sexual harassment claim for the comments that were made to you, right? You're being treated differently than men because these men are getting crazy, making violence, uh, violent threats and everything else in the workplace, and they're not being terminated. All you're doing is standing up for your rights correctly, making a complaint of sexual harassment, right? And you're out the door. You have negative workplace consequence because you complain of sexual harassment. That is the, the definition of retaliation on the federal level under the federal statute. So you've got a minimum of three federal claims in play, and you may have local claims as well. Sounds to me like you have a valuable claim. I think it's really important if you're able, if you feel that you're up to it, um, to fight back. It's not your job. No one can tell you this is your duty. No one can tell you this is your responsibility. But you do have a potentially valuable claim. And if you're the kind of person who's strong enough to fight back, not everyone is. So if you are, it, it's amazing if you're able to fight back because that's how the world gets better. That's how, how we teach people not to do these things and punish them for what they did and hopefully they don't do them in the future, right? Um, but again, no one can tell you it's your job. No one can tell you it's your duty, your claim, your life, your choice. I hope this helps. If this does help, consider giving me a like and subscribe down below. It helps me to help more people just like you.